lineups happening, and then our star Spangle Banner, Corey James is with you as Red Wing Alumni Hockey on tap at the Westland, Mike Madano Arena. That's William Wild. Stash Pintac. Brian Anderson. Frescone. Scott Rorath. Oliver. Roberto. That wasn't able to catch it, but it's is Luke Wild. Eleven is Brian Harlow. Martin. Sobachowski. Inglis. Rasfield. El Robach. Armala. Joe Vig. Burton. And there you have it, your Westland Wild Wings. Here comes the Detroit Red Wing alumni. Singer. Number three, Pat Ribble. Pat Ribble. Number four, Sergey Karin. Sergey Karin. Also number four, Rolf Nielsen. Rolf Nielsen. Fifteen, Brent Fedick. Also wearing number fifteen, Jason Woolley. Fifteen, Jason Woolley. Remember, there are two fifteens and two twenty-fives for the Red Wing John alumni. Finstrom. John Finstrom, number twenty-four. Number Greg Malachy playing a goaltender tonight number for the Red Wing nine, alumni. Dean Colstead. Dean Colstead. Also number 29. Number 45, Paul Weber. Now wearing one of our 25s this evening, he is a five-time All-Star. Put your hands together for John O'Grodnick. John O'Grodnick. fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving. 
the ultimate party foul. And so we're just about set for the start of our hockey game between the Detroit Red Wing alumni and the Westland, uh, Westland, Westland Wild Wings. Roy Jakers with you. We're just uh, a couple of moments away from the start of our hockey contest this evening, and it should be a dandy as uh, we got the dropping of the first puck. We have a raucous crowd. I'm telling you, you can hear them in the background. They have been here since probably about 5.30 tonight. The game starts at 7.30. The stands have been full. We have uh, fans standing all around the building to see this contest tonight as they're raising money for both the Mike Madonna arenas. There's been a lot of capital improvements that have been made because of this hockey game and a few other games like it. And also our uh, recipient tonight is the Garden City Hospital. But uh, the Westland is uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary. I gotta believe it's longer than that as they were out there listening at center ice. Tell you what, we're gonna take it back over there right now. So indeed it was 50 years ago, Westland became an official city. We got our kickoff to summer celebration. We're gonna do a parking movie night. Star Wars theme, The Force Awakens. You like that, kids? How about this? Free admission to the H2O zone. And last and certainly not least, our signature event in the city of Westland, the Blues Brews and Barbecue event is gonna be August 5th and August 6th at Central City Park. And the mayor's bringing back a very popular thing. I wanna hear everybody scream. Who's ready to see Floodworks this year? Yeah. All right, at this time, I wanna welcome beautiful wife, Sherry Wilde, along with her daughters, Peyton and Lily, for the ceremonial puck drop. And tonight, Luke Wilde will be playing for the Detroit Red Wing alumni as he'll be a special guest on the team this evening as we have our ceremonial puck drop. We're just moments away from the start of our contest as they have to roll up the rugs. And while they roll up the rugs, we're gonna be right back right after this. Hey Cam, thanks a lot for coming to my school today. No problem, Nate. I promise to exercise and eat right. Don't forget 60 minutes of play a day, right? And I'll grow up to be big and strong like you. Absolutely. I'm playing the NFL. Yes, sir. I'm be drafted number one. Maybe. I'll become the starting quarterback of the Panthers. <laughs> okay. You can be my backup. Excuse me? And make Panthers fans forget about you. What? And become your mom's favorite player. Whoa. I'm just loosening my arm. And we're back, and we're just about set for the start of our hockey game. The Detroit Red Wing alumni, they will have Luke Wild, John O'Grodnick, and it looks like it's gonna be Brent Fedick playing out there on the wing. O'Grodnick back to playing at his familiar left and right wing slots, as uh, he was playing defense for the Red Wing alumni. Pat Ribble playing on defense. Also back there is Dean Kolstad, as right now the puck drop, and it'll be Wild who'll tip it back. Over to Ribble, playing it out of his own zone. Anderson will play back out there at center ice as he's gonna tip it to himself. Over skates the puck and the play will continue on in to the defensive pairing of the Red Wing alumni. Seconds into this contest. Obviously we have no score. Colstad with it, going cross ice, playing it now for Ribble. And Ribble this time will not clear the zone as the goaltender for the Red Wing alumni is George Malicki, or make that Greg Malicki as he plays out there and play it into the corner. Play will be right out in front of the net and already Malicki is being sent down out in front of him and that was a dangerous play. And that one could have really been something else and that one's gonna be banged away at the net. Malicki looked like fell on that puck but it squirts out from him out there behind the corner as it's now chipped along the boards over 
Long on the sideline at the side of the circle, and now it'll be Burton with the deke, and Wilder will take it off him, but Burton has it back in the slot, and there's a pad save by Lucky, and now a peppering, and now a backhanded save, and it's covered up by the Red Wing alumni, Greg Malicki, who's yet to play in the game this season, as he's subbing for Eddie Mio, George Bowman, and also uh, trying to think a couple of the other goaltenders that the Red Wings have had. Manny Legacy has played in one of the hockey games as a goaltender and another one as a forward. And you want to talk about wheels. That is something that you'll really see on the uh, former goaltender, Manny Legacy. As Wilson this time will play it behind the goaltender as we have played a minute 40 of this hockey game. Playing with it now at center ice. It's going to be a tape to tape timing pass. Woolley over to McCarty, and it'll be played over in the corner. Is working with it. It'll be Joe Vig. Vig with it, going up against a couple of alumni, and he won't hold it for very long as it's going to be coming out of their own zone. It'll be the West Wayne Wild Wings as they've got it. Martin playing with it now, and it's going to be Luke Wild, and he'll play it up into the net. And it can't be Wild, it's going to be William Wild. And I'll tell you, Wilds are wild tonight as that we have. Uh, a Wild playing on each squad. The, the young man, Luke Wild, playing for the Red Wing alumni tonight. And so Luke Wild getting to start and uh, play, fulfilling a dream, getting to play with the Red Wing alumni as he's a junior player. Is that time a shot taken on point? A centering pass off to Piantech, but he could not get on it, and it was McCarty. McCarty gaining his own, going left wing, playing with it right now. It'll be Nelson, and Nelson scores. One nothing, Red Wing alumni with a goal. And he'll get that at approximately two minutes, 50 seconds, or 22-10 of this opening half of hockey. Once again, we have a running clock. So Nilsson indeed has the goal. Woolley will take the center as McCurdy will be out on one wing, left wing. Playing with it right now will be Nilsson, and Nilsson scores. One nothing, Red Wing alumni with a goal. And he'll get that at approximately two minutes, 50 seconds, or 22-10 of this opening half of hockey. Once again, we have a running clock. So Nilsson indeed has the goal. Woolley will take the center as McCurdy will be out on one wing. Out on the other will be Finstrom, as this time back will be Huntsicker, and Huntsicker will be playing it now with Paul Weber. Weber and Huntsinger playing out of the defensive spots, now over at center ice, clearing the blue line as the Red Wing alumni has gained the offensive zone. They're gonna be hassled behind the puck, as that one there is gonna go out to the side of the goal for the West Land Wild Wings, and it's gonna be put up over to McCarty in the slot, shoots, puts it off the crossbar. And it almost made it a two to nothing game with 21-21 to go in this opening half of hockey. Play continues on, shipped up now over into the corner, played now by the goaltender. That's gonna be Jason Brassfield who gets the start as the play will continue on up center ice and it's gonna be a full line change by the Westland Wild Wings is coming up with it, it'll be Finstrom right side. Finstrom tries to go one on three, his shot won't get through. This is broken up that time by Mikhail Harmala and the play will continue. Now out in front now to Ribble. Ribble gets a shot off on point, but it won't go through a sea of bodies. This play continues on with 20 minutes and 42 seconds to go in this opening half of hockey. Out there, the Red Wings at the side of the goal. They're looking pretty dangerous. They have a one goal lead, looking to add to it. That play there is gonna be off the side of the net as it continues on around the goal. With it right now, Brent Fedek playing in his first shift in this hockey game. Looks to quarterback things out and tries to center that pass. Played from the wings in the late 80s all the way through the mid 90s before he was traded away and dealt, I believe it was to the Boston Bruins. Now up over center ice and it's gonna be all alone. It's gonna be Anderson who puts that one right on the pads. Big fat rebound. Oh, and in the net right now is Colstad and that was almost a goal. But play will continue on with 20 minutes even to play in this opening half of hockey and a one nothing lead. I'd like to thank our volunteers. I'd like to thank Randy Williams, Amber, All World Curran, camera operator, director, and grip all at the same time. Also like to thank our photographer, Brad Shaw, 
I'm Roy J. Akers with you as we're giving up a night of uh, home improvement reruns to bring you this contest this evening. But right now it'll be Ribble. See that one going off of skates now up over center ice. As this time playing, it'll be Fresh Cone going cross ice and it'll be uh, knocked off the stick of Wild who alertly skates to that puck and goes right side. Looking for someone, a trailer, a centering pass, no one home. And it'll be uh, redirected right now on the reversal for Westland, Burton with it. Burton top of the circle. There's going to be a shot that won't get through. Partially deflected by Pat Ribble. Play continues on. Fresco with the left-handed shot. And there's beat away. And that puck will roll over on the side of the net. As the time is dangerous. And I'll tell you what, if the Red Wing alumni defense doesn't play any better than this, Greg Malicki is going to have himself a long night with just 18.47 to go in this first half of play. With this running clock, we'll have a face-off draw to the left side of the wing's goal. And so we have play continuing on and following that one face-off by the team in red and white. Because this time Cole Stato reverses it, but only Wild for the Wild Wings has got the puck and it's gonna go right out front. Tipped out and O'Grodnick and O'Grodnick with a cherry pick. Can't catch up to it on stride. He'll have a couple players back. O'Grodnick looking to quarterback it up. Goes cross ice to Kolstad and he isn't able to handle it. Who fires it along the boards behind. Well, now O'Grodnick with a reverse pass over into the corner and play continues on. Red Wing alumni will lose that puck. The puck battle there. Oh, they will come out with it. Looks like O'Grodnick won that one, and I guess you can't really deny him. And there was uh, almost a pass that was just on side there for Mr. Wild, William Wild, the captain of this Westland Wild Wings team. Play continues on over on the right side, and with this, it's going to be on the intercept now for Pat Ribble. Ribble now over to O'Grodnick, and O'Grodnick will play it off the skate of Ribble. Play continues on as we have 17, 18 to go in this opening half of play. Saucered out is this brought up the ice now by Hunt Zicker. Hunt Zicker now going there into the circle. Hunt Zicker puts it right off the glove of the goaltender to Brassfield, and that time it goes up into the netting, and that'll bring about a whistle. And with this draw happening at the dot just outside the blue line, it will be controlled this time by Westland. They are in the red, white, and blue unis as they have it up over center ice as they're raising money for the Garden City Hospital. And that's the big winner in this contest is the Charities. And there's a shot, score. And we're now even up at one as Malicki cannot handle that one. As Harlow gets the goal, and it's going to make it a one to nothing, make that a one one tie. So one all is our game score. We're now down to 16.08 to go in this opening half of hockey. Alumni will win that draw as it's gonna be Woolley playing it now for Huntsiger. And the Red Wing alumni caught with a giveaway. The lineup tonight, the hard skating lineup. This is not uh, a lineup filled full of the stars that we've seen on several of the games this season. But it's a serviceable lineup, and some of the most dedicated players are on the ice for the Red Wing alumni. Finstrom out there, who's played in several. But I'd say Fedek, Ogrodnik, and McCarty have been the most dedicated players so far. And the only game Ogrodnik didn't play in the series that we've done, I think this is our eighth or ninth game this year, the, the uh, only time he uh, didn't play in our game, that was the time the Wings had three games in one day, and he played in the first two games. And he just, uh, you know, I mean, the guy's over 60 years old. So Grodnick is one heck of a player, the four-time All-Star, make it five-time, one-time All-NHL player. As this time it'll go, Lewis will left side over for Brian Anderson. Play will continue on over at the side deck as we have 14.54 to go in this opening half of hockey. And the play will come out over center ice as the alumni will go for a partial line change. Anderson with it, has a tip from him now. Is this played right now for Burton? 
as Burton will have it now left side. And it's a centering pass, a rolling puck out front. And that's time it's going to be Maliki. It looked like that one didn't quite get through. It might have went off the skate of Cole's status. The play will continue on. Up over the blue line, it'll be held in. Remember, there are no penalties in this game. Even if there is one, it'll turn into a penalty shot. We've had seen several of those in these games, but they don't call penalties in these contests. And with that, it'll be brought out right now. It's going to be Luke Wild. Wild, the junior player. You can tell he needs to put a little weight on him, but you're not going to mess with Mr. Wild because uh, Joey Kosher will come back and get you. And uh, people don't mess with Joey. Not even the Chicago Blackhawks will mess with him on their alumni team. And with that, that'll be brought up there just outside the blue line. And it'll be a shot that's going to be tapped along at the net. And with players fishing along with it, we'll have a stoppage of play. Yeah, Kosher's not here tonight. Generally, uh, Kosher plays in about half the Red Wing alumni games. Lives in the Oakland County area in parts unknown. Not allowed to tell you where the players live. Privacy, of course, and that's not a bad thing. But all the players that play on the Red Wing alumni, uh, the ones that play on a regular basis, obviously live within driving distance of the various rinks that we cover. And there's a shot taken out on point. That time it was taken by Martin. And that's going to be an easy glove save by Maliki. We have an even 13 minutes to play in this opening half of hockey. Glad that you're enjoying this contest as this will be a draw from the left side. Sergei Karin will take the draw up against Mr. William Wild, and it'll come out center ice and skating with it will be Sobachowski. Sobachowski gets it back after giving it up and now up over center ice. Sobachowski has room to skate. Sobachowski directs that one at the net. It's tipped up into the netting and we will have a face off. Well, we have a lot of festivities that will be happening at the midway point of our hockey game tonight as that we will be having our puck throw tonight and they do that at the circle. They do that to win valuable prizes. It's a great fundraiser for the groups that have done that. I uh, saw that back at um, I saw that back at the um, at Flint Arena about a month ago, and I'll tell you, people really get into that. Fed it going to McCarty right wing. McCarty skating in and will filter that one wide. Looked like his intended target that time was Fedek. But Fedek couldn't catch up to the puck in this 1-1 tie with just 11.44 to go in our opening half of hockey. It's been a very tight hockey game thus far, or skating with it. Centering pass out in front from Fedek and banging away at it is McCarty. Oh, and they say McCarty got it. So McCarty will bang it home and it's two to one. So McCarty with a, just kind of, he just kept knocking it about, knocking it about. He just kept banging away. And finally, the goaltender gave it up as Jason Brassfield had one shot too many put on him. As we have five ticks over 11 minutes to play in this opening half of hockey. Coming out with it, it's going to be Fresh Cone, Fresh Cone with it. Fresh Cone will put it out now over center ice and playing it now will be Stash. Pintac, Pintac will look to drop it that toward the net to Oliver, but that time Maliki was equal to the challenge and that play never got through. McCarty at center ice will just tip that one on ahead and it'll roll end over it. <coughs> Up over center ice with it, you're gonna see the Westland Wild Wings. Wild Wings going right side. They'll direct that one at the net. That's gonna be an easy save by Inglis. And the goaltender will, Malicki will just uh, take his chances with a draw to his left side with 10 minutes, 20 seconds to play in this opening half of the game.
There's the draw, controlled by Westland. Have it back out on point with it. Now it'll be Vig over in the corner as the play continues on. Westland trying to keep the offensive possession going. Vig with it on the left-handed stick, goes out in front. Skating with it, it'll be Burton, and Burton drives that one just wide of the goal as Puck will just roll in over end. It'll be handled right now by Finstrom. Up over center ice with a tip pass. And it'll be going on a reversal the other way as sticks come up in the air and the play will continue on between the Blues. With it now will be Anderson. Hunziker will go back and chase that one with Anderson on his heels. And Red Wing alumni looks to come out of their own zone with just 9.26 to go in this first half of this game. Skating with it will now be Hunziker. And Huntzicker with it, he tries to put it out front and it'll be intercepted, but will it be kept in? Over A couple players overskate that puck and the Red Wing alumni will have it. It'll be Huntzicker. He's got it over to Ogrodnik and play it over to Woolley and it'll be Huntzicker back door, oh, of course. Three to one Red Wing alumni. And the Red Wing alumni, they have themselves a three to one lead. So Hunsinger with a goal and it's now a three to one lead for the alumni as they have a, they're up by a pair. And they're skating from our left to our right as they're on the offensive possession. They have it now at center ice. Ribble with it, looking to gain the zone. Rebel this time will just chase the puck over into the corner as it's gonna be gathered by Jeff Sobachowski and the play will come on now at center ice and giving chase to it will be William Wild and Wild will have that one poke checked out of his stick. Uh, the nice play that time by Kolstad. And Martin will direct that one toward the net and Kolstad will chip it out to the blue line. Over skating it was Harlow for Westland and play will continue up over center ice as they're gonna easily gain the zone. They're gonna go the pass left side over to Wild. William Wild cannot handle it for long. Puts it behind the goal and out the other way as the fresh skating Ralph Nilsson will play it and back into the Westland zone with just 7.40 to go in this opening half of hockey. Playing it, it'll be Cobeto. Cobeto over into the corner for Westland. It'll be played behind the goal, Maliki. It's been severely tested in this hockey game, but not in the last couple of hockey minutes as the Red Wing alumni have it. They're in the red and white, wild with it. Wild for the Red Wing alumni. Remember, there's a wild on each team, father, son, back door, and that was wild nearly setting up. Going back door, it looked like the Finstrom, and that was a shot that could have went in the net and did not. Played out right now by Pentac, Pentac with it. Now between the circles. As now with it will be Pintac. Pintac will, won't see a, his effort get through as Rob Martin plays with it over at the corner and the puck will squirt out over to center ice. Frescomb with it. Playing it. He will have a give and go to Oliver and Oliver now will go left side being forced out by Hunziker but this time he tries to center that one and it nearly got through. With 6.40 to go in the opening half of hockey. He'll be out there with a centering pass. It'll come all the way down the ice and hop over the stick this time of Rolf Nilsson and McCarty looks to go back door and a nice job of staying with that play was Jason Brassfield. His team trails by two, it's three to one Red Wing alumni over the Westland Wild Wings. There's a shot on goal, it's dribbled up into the air and there's a nice glove save. This time the puck chipped up over center ice as it's gonna be onside. Whether it'll be Inglis, Inglis looks to direct that one at the net as Pintac with it. Pintac centering pass won't get through and playing it'll be Huntziger. And I'll tell you, Dave Huntziger has played very, very well in his limited time tonight. Fedek over to Karin as Karin with it. He'll direct that one toward the net, but he doesn't have a teammate with him. And with 10 ticks under six minutes to play in this opening half of hockey, it's still a two goal Red Wing alumni lead. They have it over in the corner. Red Wing alumni will look to play it, is uh, skating with it now is gonna be Ribble. And Ribble, professional hockey player, played with several different teams. Coming out with it, Ribble on side, right wing. Now going to the left side, looks to go across ice, but it's gonna be that time swatted away by the goaltender Brassfield. This play continues on. Red Wing alumni looking to get some peppering going. Colstad back out on point. They'll play it now to Ribble. Ribble will chip that one ahead to Fedek. 
We have 5.05 to play in this opening half of hockey. And whether it'll be played out over on the side boards, it's gonna go cross ice. It hops over the stick of Brent Fedick and play will continue on. It's gonna be Ogrodnik. Ogrodnik snuck on the ice. Always playing with that big white helmet. And it's gonna be played out over into the corner and the Westland will come out with a puck with 444 to go in this opening half of hockey. And it's a drop pass played out underneath. And a nice shot on goal by Malicki and it lays in the doorstep. Malicki will somehow make a bad save as that time he collapsed on that puck did a phenomenal job. And that's the kind of save you want to see is Greg Malicki substituting for the couple of usual goaltenders of George Bowman and also Eddie Neal. Goaltender for the Detroit Red Wings. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. Eddie, the affable Neo, he's always uh, got a smile on his face. He's a hilarious guy. We've had him up here doing commentary for us uh, on multiple occasions this year. Ogrodnik back to Finstrom. Finstrom looking at, as he cycles the, with the puck and looks to go now right side. He's taken off it with six ticks under four minutes to play in this opening half. With it now, it's going to be Finstrom going back around the corner, centering pass, no one home. The right idea to Ogrodnik, but Ogrodnik had already passed the goal when the puck came out on the centering attempt. Hockey is such a timing, timing sport, as we all know, and with this draw coming to the right side of the goaltender, Brassfield. It'll be played. Looks like doing the honors for the Red Wing alumni, it looks like Jason Woolley will get the face off and it'll be controlled by Westland, played off in the corner. As this time Wild is back on the ice for the Red Wing alumni. He is severely outmatched size wise, but that isn't the point of this particular hockey game. He's uh, getting the opportunity to play and fulfill a uh, dream. How'd you like to play with the Red Wing alumni as a kid? I mean, what a thrill. That's something this young man will never forget. With 2.46 to go in this opening half, it's a three to one Detroit Red Wing alumni lead. Played over at the side of the goal as the Wild with it. Off the side boards, Oliver. Oliver this time will feed it up ahead of the ice to Frescombe. And Frescombe looking to get it back, but he has Huntzicker who's picked his pocket. Huntzicker joining the play. After trailing it, he goes out ahead and on the one-timer, it's gonna be kicked away this time by Brassfield. Play continues on over at the blue line and now it's center ice. And on a drop pass, it's gonna to go toward the goal but it will not get through as this time it'll be knocked away. That time it looks like by Colstad and skating it all low McCarty. Oh, and he's robbed. What a play by Brassfield who knocks that one away with an even two minutes to go in this opening half. That time skating and all alone was McCarty and his eyes got really big, but the goal got really small and he was stymied. Chipped out now over at the blue line. It'll be out in front and it's gonna be a shot that goes just wide of the goaltender Maliki. Played right now by the Red Wings alumni, Pat Ribble. And now McCarty, and McCarty will have that one chipped off his stick. And Red Wing alumni will have that play covered as Karen will tip it back over to Cole Stad. And it'll be played right now by William Wild, the captain of this Westland Wild Wing squad. And over center ice, it's gonna be intercepted. It'll be Burton. Burton looking to see if he can get a rush in there, but the Red Wing alumni has Four players there. McCarty will leave the ice as we have a minute left to go in the opening half of this hockey game. Back out center ice, and once again, Ro, uh, excuse me, it was a row off. We'll go back and play it along the corners. Play continues on. They look the center of the pass out in front of the goal, and no, he's not contested. As that time, getting the shot on was Joe Burton, 
and Burton that time really had an opportunity to make it a 3-2 game. We have but 33 seconds to go in the opening half of this hockey game. The straw will come to the right side of the goaltender Maliki and it'll be controlled right now by Westland. Westland will fire that one just wide of the goal. It'll be off over to the side. Bring Maliki down again. Maliki down on his back, but the puck squirts out over the corner and it's gonna be played there. With it right now, it's taking off the puck. Oh, we got a hooking call, but it won't be called. Karin that time uh, <laughs> got a stick caught, the player. But the play continues on and there goes the horn. So, game score after 25 minutes, Red Wing alumni three. The Westland Wild Wings won. We'll be back with a second half of action in just a few moments. Right now, we've got our halftime show. Stay tuned for it. Well, Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. Detroit Red Wing Hall of Famer Mickey Redman. Mickey, what does it uh, mean to be a part of the Detroit Red Wing alumni? Well, I think uh, probably I can I can sum that up by saying that when we go a lot of places and people say it's really important that you're here and we're we're happy to have you and you don't know how much it means for the kids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, I respond, uh, you have no idea what it does for us inside our chest. Uh, we feel good that we're in a position to make a difference and uh, we can't do it enough. A couple questions on the current Red Wings. They're up and down. What's it going to take for them to make the playoffs? Uh, continued good goaltending and a power play over 20%. I think I'll get the trick done. And, uh, and with that, now this team here, it, everybody's about 500 and it's just a bit big misnomer because of the way the shootout ties are going. Is there, has the three on three worked out for the shootouts this year? Everybody's so tight. Yeah, I think it, I, I think it's really exciting. And uh, thank God we don't have any more shootouts. Uh, I never liked them to begin with, but I went with it because the fans liked it. But I think they got tired of it. And the three on three has just been unbelievably exciting. So the more we get of that, the better. All right, Mickey, I know you got to get out there and play yourself a great game. Thank you so much for coming on. Great to be here. Yeah, we'll see you at the golf outing in you a couple of months. You got it. Thank you. All right, and so with that, that's Mickey Redmond at the halftime of our hockey game this evening. We're going to be back for the second half of action. It happens in just a few moments as you are watching Detroit Red Wing Alumni Hockey on G1 NBC and your local cable outlets.
Cam, thanks a lot for coming to my school today. No problem, Nate. I promise to exercise and eat right. Don't forget 60 minutes of play a day, right? And I'll grow up to be big and strong like you. Absolutely. I'm playing the NFL. Yes, sir. I'm be drafted number one. Maybe. I'm become the starting quarterback of the Panthers. <laughs> OK. You can be my backup. Excuse me? And make Panthers fans forget about you. What? And become your mom's favorite player. Whoa. I'm just loosening my arm. fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving. The ultimate party foul. Welcome back to our second half. This was just moments away from the half number two of our Detroit Red Wing alumni contest as they're playing the Westland Wild Wings and uh, Mayor Wild and his uh, squad tonight First off, let's take a look at scoring. Nelson scored to make it one nothing for the Red Wing alumni. Harlow scored for the Wild Westland uh, Wild Wings. Uh, McCarty made it two to one for the Red Wing alumni. Hunzinger made it three to one. And then that's how we went to half. Except for we had a shootout and the goal scored for both squads, but only one tally was recorded. It was Anderson who put it behind the Red Wing alumni goaltender Greg Malicki. And our game scores three to two as we will hit the second half of play. And tell you what, we are going to have that play happening for you as that happens next as you are watching Detroit Red Wing Alumni Hockey on G1 NBC and all of your favorite cable stations. About pre-diabetes. But with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. 
And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> 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 so we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. All right, would you mind, sir? Oh, thanks, we appreciate it. Yeah, at the uh, smaller ranks, we're stuck with the crowd. The bigger ranks, we, uh, we're up in the press box and all that. And it's kind of cool being with the people, but I am like, I'm sardine. I couldn't even stand up for the stars. I couldn't. I am glued in this table. And if I push that table two inches, we're going down, yeah. And we're all set with our face off, talking with a fan as we're talking about how tight it is in this uh, Westland uh, Mike Madonna rank. And going back skating in on his own side will be Frescone, and he'll carry it up over the blue line. The center ice for Burton. Burton gains his own, going right side. He has it with it, and he'll bring the goaltender Maliki on down as we are played our opening 30 seconds of our second half of this game. It's a three to two. Red Wing alumni lead. They led it three to one after the first half. And we told you at the start as Malecki makes that save, taken there on point. As it was a nice job, it looked like it was by Brasfield who got that shot. Actually, it wasn't Brasfield. I think it was Harmel. And anyway, uh, we're talking about different things. And uh, anyway, we have the faceoff coming out to the left side of the Red Wing goal as our opening minute of play has now been exhausted. Don't know what we're waiting for. Looks like a couple of late players for the Westland Wild Wings and the stick slapped and brought over into the corner. And this time it'll be out in front of the Red Wing alumni goal, skating with it'll be Burton. Burton dropping it for Fressholm as he'll play it left side, directing that one at the net, but it'll be tipped wide that time by, it looked like it was Brian Anderson over into the corner. Played continuing on since this opening whistle. It's been all Westland Wild Wings over the Red Wing alumni as this comes up over center ice. As this time, Woolley will come on side as a poke checked off his stick by Burton and has played the other way on the reversal. Right now, left side played out over into the corner. Getting it'll be Westland, directing that one toward the Red Wing goal. As we have 23-10 to play in this second half of this hockey game, it's a one goal Red Wing alumni lead. They have their goals in this hockey contest by Nilsson, McCurdy, and Huntzinger. And there's an absolute uh, dandy of a save, or will it? As it's going to remain a 3-2 to two game score. That was a dandy of a save by Al Lobach, who's come into this contest for Jason Brassfield. Brassfield went the first 25 minutes. Now comes Lobach. This time the face-off control by Westland as they will play it now behind their own net. Golette over to Wild. Wild now over at center ice and it's on the intercept now by Weber. As Weber playing out of his defensive slot, passes it behind his own net. Play continues on as the Red Wing alumni trying to carry it out of their own zone. They haven't done a whole lot tonight. Ryan Barnes skating with it and he has his pocket pick. This time by Martin, and Martin goes left side, directs it at the goal by Maliki, and Maliki makes the save, and he'll have a draw to his right side. We have played three minutes and 15 seconds of this second half of action. It's a one goal lead by the Red Wings. The alumni squad playing tonight for the Garden City Hospital and also the Mike Madonna rank. This is a community rank, and Fans come here and there's a good uh, 1,500 or better people and they are having an absolute blast tonight with all the 50-50s, the raffles, as this time the Red Wings will send this one wide by Hunt Zinger who already has a goal in this contest and he'll go back to get that puck and has Barnes with him. And Hunt Zinger will play it off the sideboards. Nilsson over center ice 
Nelson can't handle the puck for very long, and with it will be William Wild, and Wild will play it behind the goal as the Red Wing alumni will play that one now out over center ice. As it's now going to go out back over between the Blues, and now the Red Wing alumni with it. With 20 minutes, 50 seconds to go in this contest, it's going to be saucered at the blue line. Playing it now, Grodnick with his first shift in the second half of this game. Woolley looks to settle this one or make that Weber. And playing it'll be Inglis. Inglis now going right side. Inglis now going up over the blue line. Shot will be kicked away and now over into the corner. Players looking to use skates and sticks over on the right side. Red Wing alumni coming out with it. Johnny Finstrom. Finstrom showing a lot of wheels. And Finstrom has that one poked off his stick by Harlow as he'll try to get set with it. It'll be Finstrom. Finstrom this time will wrap it around as he turned and fired it behind him. As this time, Mr. Wild, Luke Wild, will get his first shift of the second half. And Wild that time had the deke a check by Harlow, and it's Karin with it. Now Finstrom gained in the offensive zone, but he doesn't have the numbers. He goes one on five. <laughs> as the play will continue the other way by Sobachowski. Pretty much all the players for both squads have uh, been out there on the ice in the first five minutes in a wide open net, and oh, what a save. It's juggled this time by the goaltender Malicki and Malicki the ice in the first five minutes in a wide open net, and oh, what a save. It's juggled this time by the goaltender Malicki and Malicki that time. How he made that save, we'll never know, and uh, we can't believe that save. Clock continues to move with this 19.25 to go in this contest. The Red Wing alumni moving from our right to our left. And Westland Wild Wings obviously moving the other way. Play over in the corner. Red Wing alumni is Finstrom. It'll chip it along behind the goal. Is this going to be played now over on the left side? It's brought up and on the intercept. And then the slot will be Burton. And Burton bangs it off the post. And that one was almost a tie game. As right now, the Westland squad, they're peppering the goal, banging it away and banging it away again. The officials lost sight of that puck. At that time, a referee, Perry Volucci, couldn't see it as he said that the uh, net went off the magnet, and that might have saved the Red Wing alumni from giving up the equalizer. And this time it's going to be directed on a backhand toward the goal by William Wild. And another save by Maliki and another draw. And this time the puck will roll end over end behind the goal, played out now. Top of the circle, the Red Wing alumni skating with it. They have it over center ice is Woolley. Woolley going left side. Woolley looking for a trailer. Looks to wrap it around the net to McCarty out front. And won't go to him. Went out back out on point by Ribble. McCarty was all alone in the slot, but he was never able to play it. Play continues on, a centering pass. Nobody home for the wings. Wild with it. Up over center ice. They'll carry it into the zone. They'll fire a a uh, shot there wide of the goal as Malicki that time will field it. And with 17 and a half to go in this hockey game, we'll have a draw to the right side of the goaltender. And this time it's going to be fired and will be wide of the goal. And that was put right on the net. And Malicki with a Oh, it's a goal. Looked like he got a piece of it, made the save, but he did not. And we have a 3 3 tie. And so Roraf uh, Ro gets a goal, and it's 3 3. And with this 3-3 tie, the play continues. The Red Wing alumni looks to get out of their own zone. Keeping my own score in this contest with 16 and a half minutes to go in this game and trying to go back doors. Woolley on a one-timer, taking that pass from Darren McCarty, a slimmed down version of D-Mac. 
up over at the center ice. Played right now, gaining the offensive zone. It's going to be William Wild. And he won't hand a puck for very long as it goes off the back of the skate of Joe Vig. The play continues on as with it now it'll be Woolley. Woolley going left side, chips it toward the goal. Got a one-timer for McCarty who couldn't quite put the puck home. Tipped out now over center ice. Going back to get it is going to be William Wild as play will continue on with 1543 to go in this hockey game. It's a 3-3 game score. And with it, it'll be tipped toward the goal, and with it, it'll be Harlow. Harlow this time backwards over his teammate Anderson, and Anderson gets that one over a fluttering Greg Maliki. Play continues on now over at the blue line. Played right now on the intercept. And with it now, it'll be Harlow. Harlow trying to get it off over out of the blue line as it's going to be held out now over center ice by the Wild as it's nearly intercepted, but over skating that puck with a Red Wing alumni, and now with it, it'll be Huntsicker, and Huntsicker this time will cycle around with it. Barnes looks to settle it down between the circles as play continues up on the reversal. Burton with it. Burton now getting it out front, and that's gonna be knocked away as it's gonna be Anderson. Played out now along the corner. We have 14.46 to go in this hockey game and a 3-3 game score. Red Wing alumni for one of the few times has gained the offensive zone in this half. This, right now it'll be Colstad. Colstad going left wing, looking for somebody to pass to out front, but Burton will pick his pocket, and after the turnover, he'll fire it up over center ice, puts it right on the tape of Stash Pintac, and Pintac this time will put the left-handed wrister, put the wicked one on goal, and that's a save by Maliki with 14, 14 to go in this hockey game. Today, many of the battles that we fight are in the courtroom for our sacred right of sovereignty. So red nation rise, Native American rights fund. I can make a change in the names of my ancestors so they didn't die in vain. But together, calling the tribes to action. One nation, can you imagine? Grandma once said our people will thrive. 500 years and we still survive. Narf, the Indian wars never ended. The only change venue to be continued. Support the Native American Rights Fund. Visit narv.org. This time it'll be fed out for O'Gronick following the draw. Fitz will go left wing. He's going to skate in. Going back in a forehand. Goes back door. And this time he had a wide open player. And Luke Wilde wasn't able to finish as this time it's gonna be Wild will pass it back off the boards and it'll be right now for Finstrom. Finstrom this time looking to centering pass. Out front is Wild again. Knubel, or make that Ribble. Ribble with it, centering pass over to Finstrom. Finstrom been very dangerous on in this game as he this time he put the deke on Rob Martin and the play will continue out front and this one's whistled wide as that time O'Grodnick was trying to feed the kid. And this time a player hauled down, nothing called and Finstrom out front, but they weren't able to put it past Al Lowe back. This play will continue on. Up over center ice, Ribble back with it. As we have three ticks over 13 minutes to play in this hockey game, and it's a 3-3 game score. Tipped out now at the blue line, and it'll be played right now by Wild at center ice as he's due for a well uh, deserved line change, and it'll be the Red Wing alumni taking advantage. Here comes Wild. Wild skating it all alone, oh, puts it off the pad. Then it's gonna be Fedek who will chip it off the uh, back of the netting and it's gonna remain a 3-3 game score. And the Red Wing alumni had their best chance. And that time we almost had Luke Wild get the goal. He broke all in on the goaltender and he probably had another half a stride and didn't really realize it. And this time the Red Wing alumni, they're gonna control it. They'll direct that one on a backhand. As Fedek this time puts it on Lowback's glove side. And with an even 12 minutes to play in this hockey game, our game score remains 3-3. Karen will take the face off against Luke. Make that uh, William Wild and 
Play will continue on. Is this going to be held in by the Red Wing alumni? I think they realize they better ramp up their game or they're going to probably give up another goal because they have been outplayed by the Westland Wild Wings in the second half of this game. They got the edge in the first half and they had the uh, two goal lead minus the uh, halftime show, which gave the Wild a shootout goal as it's over skated by Karen and it's so oh, Karen will be called for the penalty or will it be a penalty shot? Officials are gonna let this one play on. Karen will gain the offensive zone. Well, they, I thought he was gonna drop it to Woolley, but instead he kept it, fed it a little late, but it went into a sea of traffic as we have 11 minutes and four seconds to play in this hockey game. Playing with it, going behind his own goal. There's gonna be William Wild. Wild chipping it out now to the blue line. It's gonna be a two on three as it's on the intercept. With it right now, the Red Wing alum now gain the zone. They have a three on one. They're gonna skate right in and shot will flutter wide by Hunsicker. Hunsicker's been dangerous every shift he's played in this game. Has to be one of the top stars. As it'll go off the kick plate and it'll be played right now by the Red Wing alumni as they're gonna fish that one in and from his knees that time was D-Mac to fire that one at the goal as the play will stop uh, over at the left side of the goal. I'm listening to the announcements as they're talking about all the people that brought cases of water for the people in Flint. And they're going through all the different raffles and draws as they have raised a ton of money. They've had a lot of hardworking people for a big event. And this has been a community game. Burton going back door for Pintac, but play won't get through as we have a couple of ticks under 10 minutes to play in this contest. Woolley is pushed off the puck as Burton will bring it up as War uh, Harlow will got the better of the Red Wing alumni player. Going left wing, fanning on that shot. It's gonna be Harlow and it's back out there left side. Playing it right now will be the West, the Westland Wild Wings and it's gonna be shot all the way down the ice, but it won't be called an icing call. It'll be played by the goaltender Lobach. We have nine and a half to play in this hockey game. Burton with it now over, gaining the zone. Burton now going left side, top of the circle. Knocked away this time by Maliki as play continues on. It's now going to be held in as Westland looks to keep the play going as it is Harmola. Haven't called his name a lot tonight. As now the Wings Barnes gets the left-handed slapper played off the pads a low back. As uh, I think he, uh, Barnes had all kinds of room. He could have came in there and put some more moves on the goaltender, but it elected to take a slapper from right at the left side of the circle. And now getting in the zone, it's going to be uh, Cobeto and Cobeto looks to put that one on goal and I think getting a piece of that one was the goaltender Malecki as the play will end up over in the corner with just 8.34 to go in this hockey game. Red Wing alumni, they have a three on two temporarily. They look to go back door. Hunsinger with a shot scores. And Hunsinger has been absolutely dynamo tonight. Taking Red Wing alumni, they have a three on two temporarily. They look to go back door. Hunsinger with a shot scores. And Hunziger has been absolutely dynamo tonight, taking a feed that time from Nilsson and Ogrodnik. So Hunziger with the goal, and it's a four to three game with an even eight minutes to play in this contest as the play continues on. The Red Wing alumni have really turned it on after trailing by, they actually they didn't trail in this game, but they were tied at three all, and they were all played there for a while, and it seemed like they were trailing for sure, but they weren't. Barnes back in, going over in the slot to Weber, another shot scores, and now they're burying the puck in the goal. So Weber 
will fire it home, and it's now a five to three game score. So Weber with a goal. Garden City Hospital and the Mike Madano Ice Rink are all recipients of what's going on tonight. Lots of money's been raised. They've made a lot of capital improvements to the building. I guess they're gonna be building some pro style locker rooms for some of the players that are fortunate enough to play in that uh, particular locker room. And there's a shot that's gonna be whistled wide as that time it was Luke Wild to put with that one on goal. Centering pass is gonna go wide and over skating the puck that time is going to be Oliver and going back will be Ribble for the Red Wing alumni skating behind his own goal. We have 6.38 to go in this hockey game. It's a two goal Red Wing alumni lead. Played over center ice now by Karen. Karen gain in the zone. will just flutter that one toward the goal and Finstrom will try to catch up with that one but not before the Westland Wild will clear as Kerrigan will bring it up now right side. Played over by Kerrigan. Kerrigan will shoot that one diagonally down the ice and it'll be by Ribble and Ribble looks to play it out for the Red Wing alumni. Now over center ice as they're on the carry. With it'll be Luke Wild. Luke Wild fulfilling a kid dream as he's skating with the Red Wing alumni tonight and it'll be saucered up into the air and played now off the stick of uh, Brian Anderson by Westland as they'll gain it. Anderson still with it, looking to skate wide of the defense of Weber. Skates right in on the goaltender, losing his balance with 5.44 to go in this game. This is it'll be played now over on the right side. Played off the sideboards and played at the side of the circle. As this one will be over by Burton and Burton will have it now up over center ice by Harlow and Harlow with it now being played out there by McCarty. This is going to be chipped out in front and will go off the dasher and it'll be coming up to the Red Wing alumni. You got Fedek trailing this time right behind Woolley and the play will continue out over center ice on the intercept. Playing with it right now is Sobachowski and he doesn't hold it for very long as the alumni with it as we have an even five minutes to play in this hockey game. It's going to be Fedek. Fedek going left side. He's looking to center that pass. No one is home. And on the intercept, the stash pin tack. And he'll chip it out and over the center ice. And it'll be players are going to use their skates and six as the puck is tied up over out in front of Newman, who's barking things out to his troops, trying to get them going. Hunsinger will fall down. One of the few mistakes he's made in this game. And explicably uh, loses his uh, skates as this Burton. And Burton with it as he'll have his pocket pick, but a puck will end up out in front. Just played right now by Wild, and Wild wasn't able to hold it, and it's going to be the Red Wing alumni out behind their own goal, a centering pass out front. Woolley this time looking for someone, and he's got Ogrodnik. Ogrodnik going right side. Ogrodnik will pull it up. Ogrodnik looking for a tape-to-tape -tape pass. He has it. As that time, he was trying to get it to Barnes, who didn't have it for very long. As with it, it's going to be Colstad. Now Ribble. Ribble in the slot. Nice pad save. Big fat rebound will go behind the net as Barnes will play it out to Ogrodnik to Ribble. And Ribble this time is trying to skate around for a centering pass that won't get through as we have 3.40 to go in this hockey game. And this time it's going to be on the intercept. It'll be Colstad and it'll lose the handle. It's a two on one for the Westland Wild Wings. They'll drill, take that one right to the goal and Maliki will poke that one away and knock it back up towards center ice. Is this going to be the Westland Wild Wings? Playing between the circles, Wild with it. We're talking William R. Wild, the mayor of Westland. Skating with that puck and it's going to be between the blue lines and with three minutes, four seconds to go on this contest, you hear the chance as this let's go Red Wings. They are still up by a pair of goals with just under three minutes to play in this game. And the Red Wing alumni is appreciative of the chant for sure. As carrying it over the zone will be Huntzinger. Huntzinger out in front, it's too far for Wild. It's gonna be knocked away this time from Nilsson who has a goal in this contest as it'll be shot around the boards. Played right now by Chris Frescone. 
And now up over the blue line and center ice. It's going to be on the intercept, and it's going to be a shot whistled wide by Inglis as the play continues on, which is 2 and 22 to play in this contest. Puck is stick slapped up in the air. Oh, a nice pad save as that one came down from the gondola, and that one went to Inglis, and Inglis had a nice surprise shot. Nearly handcuffed the goaltender, Maliki, as the play will continue on. Inglis this time will flutter it and it'll be intercepted by Karen as we have two minutes to play even in this contest. Players are vying for it over on the far boards. Over near the top of the circle as is Hunsinger. Hunsinger with two goals in this game has been the number one star in my eyes. But I don't vote on that as Vig goes back to get it for Westland. Playing it now up over the blue line and now center ice. West Lane gaining in the offensive zone, but they have a sea of traffic. The Red Wing alumni looks like they've taken that puck away. Oh, it will be held into the blue line. This time by Joe Burton as it's knocked over into the corner and play will move on. It's played out over center ice and this time West Lane will go back to get the puck with just a minute 15 to go in this contest. It's a two goal lead for the alumni. They lead it five to three. And they'll score and make it five to four. And things have just gotten interesting as we have a brand new game. And just like that, Maliki gives up the goal. Well, they better hurry up and tee that one up because the clock keeps moving. We have but 45 seconds to go in this contest. And not sure who got the goal for Westland. There was a couple of players that might have got it. And with just 28 seconds to go, Westland seconds. is trying to hold things in there as they're pulled the goaltender as they are now skating six on five. And it goes back to their own goal and hits the outside of the goal post. And that one might have been put in by a Westland zone player. There's 10 seconds to go in this game, and it's just going to be shot back in the zone as it goes so, fluttering along in the blue line, and there will not be enough time to get a shot on goal, and it's a 5-4 game score. Goal score, we're going to get you all but the last one, the Red Wing alumni, Nilsson, McCarty, Hunsinger twice. Also Weber with the goal for the alumni. Uh, Harlow gets a goal. Anderson had a goal. Uh, looks like, uh, I'm trying to, trying to read my own writing. Looks like Rohoff got a goal for Westland and the fourth goal for their squad. We're not sure who got it. So with that, we want to thank everybody who's tuned into tonight's broadcast. Newman is going to be getting a shot of everybody. And so with that, those teams will skate out the center ice. We're going to have that one for you as once again they're working for charity and the ultimate goal garden city hospital they work at as well as westland uh the westland arena the mike madonna arena all recipients of awesome awesome Get in. The 
The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Well, with me is Kevin Miller. Kevin, I, I got a question to ask you. Who are you going to skate for when you play the MSU alumni coming up in a few weeks? Yeah, I'm going to skate with the Red Wings. Um, you know, there's a lot of MSU guys that are coming back, so uh, we'll probably put three or four MSU guys with the Red Wings, and, and there'll be a lot of MSU guys out the, on the ice, but a lot of Red Wings on the ice, too. And the last two years, we've had uh, great crowds, 3,500 people, and we're raising uh, some, some good money for some great charities. And, uh, you know, the, the people really love it. A lot of giving a lot of tickets away to boys and girls clubs and uh, big brothers, big sisters. We want to get them all in there. A lot of never seen a hockey game before. So um, that's the whole goal. Uh, raise a little money, have a lot of fun, and get some people in there that never uh, seen a hockey game to have fun. Now, MSU, they're a little down playing hockey. I'm not used to seeing that. What is it going to take to get that team back out on top? You know, sometimes uh, it's tough. I mean, you get you get off to a, a rocky start and things start to go the wrong way. It, it's really tough to get the, the boat turned the other direction. And, you know, they're working hard, and some nights they're, they're, they look like they got things turned around, and, and then, uh, you know, some nights they don't. So uh, it's uh, it usually takes hard work, and uh, they're going to have to really, uh, really work hard to get out of this. Well, the Red Wings are playing real well with all those young kids. What do you see as the biggest pluses going on for the current edition of the Red Wings? Well, Mrazic's been playing awesome. Um, their forwards are, are very fast and uh, creating a lot of money that was being raised. So for Amber Curran, Randy Williams, Brad Shaw, myself, Roy J. Akers, we want to thank everybody for tuning in to tonight's game. We're going to let the PA announcer take it away from here. On and we're going to see you out at MSU in about two to three weeks. Thank Great. you so much. You. All right, you got it. And yep. and so real quick, I tell you what we're going to do is that we're going to be back for our post game interview. That's going to have John O'Grodnick on it. And as we'll talk to John O'Grodnick coming up in just a few moments, as you are watching the Detroit Red Wing alumni on all your favorite cable outlets and also G1 NBC. Hey Cam, thanks a lot for coming to my school today. No problem, Nate. I promise to exercise and eat right. Don't forget 60 minutes of play a day, right? And I'll grow up to be big and strong like you. Absolutely. And play in the NFL. Yes, sir. And be drafted number one. Maybe. And become the starting quarterback of the Panthers. <laughs> OK. You can be my backup. Excuse me? And make Panthers fans forget about you. What? And become your mom's favorite player. Whoa. I'm just loosening my arm. 
Brent, I remember your career fondly. Playing for the Detroit Red Wings as a first round draft pick. I won't say a long time ago. We'll just say, how about about 10 years ago? How's that sound? Well, that's a good round number. As long as we stay in round numbers, uh, uh, it's still fun to get out, even though it's been a few years. But, uh, you know, especially when you can raise money for good causes. And, and that let leads into uh, the Detroit Red Wing alumni raising all the great uh, money for causes, including tonight for cerebral palsy. Uh, what, what gets you stoked? Is it raising money for other people? Is it hearing the applause? Is it a little bit of both? Or, uh, you know, Skating with the, your buddies. One of the things is skating with your buddies. It's, uh, you know, camaraderie. That's one of the things I think when you retire is uh, you miss the guys around. Uh, also now, you know, it is nice to do a good deed. I even tell my I have two young kids that uh, it's, it's always nice to do something nice for somebody else. Now, if you are given advice, you were a player agent, let's say, for one of the kids coming into the draft this year, what would you say to, to a, a kid that's coming into the draft to say, look, this is really what you need to do to help you to maximize your success in the uh, NHL? Well, you know, one thing has to be, it has to be enjoyable, but you definitely have to have a heck of a work ethic. Uh, I think a lot of uh, the great players, I think in any sport, uh, what they did off the ice, um, the amount of work they put in off the ice, how many hours they did, made it look easy on the ice or on the field or whatever you know, uh, sport they played. But there was a lot of work that went in behind the scenes. What was probably the most rewardable reward thing about your NHL career? What, is, what stands out? There's got to be a million things, but it's one thing. Yeah, then, you know what? It was probably uh, my last year uh, playing alongside Wayne Gretzky. Um, as a kid growing up, he was a phenomenal now, what, player. What team was that? That was the New York Rangers. So you did play for the Rangers. I, I thought played. you had a, a short stint with them. Yep, yep. So I was with the Rangers, and I think it was like the last 10 games. John Muckler was the coach. And he asked yeah, me if I, could, if I could come over and uh, take care of the defensive zone for Gretzky and get the puck up to him. I was like, sure, no problem. Be happy to. And I'm sure that uh, well, that must have really been a real, real thrill. Well, all right. Well, Brent, I want to thank you for coming out. Are you going to play golf at the golf outing this summer? Yep, yep. Well, we will see you there, and uh, we'll watch you whack it in uh, onto the green there. And uh, for the new player, you're going to say into the woods, but okay. No, we're, we're going to hope. Well, it's not into the woods. Well, okay. You're going to be shooting for the car. I think, all right. I think we're going to have a car sponsor this year, and so we're going to hopefully capture somebody's hole in the All right, so hopefully it'll be yours. All right. Thank you very much, Brent. Well, anyway, we'd like to thank everybody out there. We want to thank. We would like to thank. <laughs> How you doing, folks? We'd like to thank Scott Kern. We'd like to thank Brad Shaw. We'd also like to thank Randy Williams, himself, Roy Akers, as and all the Detroit Red Wing uh, alumni players, and of course Newman, who set this whole thing up for us, and for all the cable companies out in southeastern Michigan, throughout the state of Michigan, and also for G1 NBC. We want to thank everybody for tuning in to a great season. And we're going to see you in the fall. Good night, everybody.